Hello everyone, I am Dr. Raghu Nagraj, Senior Consultant Orthopedic Surgeon at Fortis Cunningham Hospital. I basically specialized in knee and shoulder injuries. So I am here to talk about a particular type of injury in the shoulder called slap injuries or slap tear. This usually happens in young individuals between 20 to 45 year old. So what is slap tear? Slap tear is an injury to the labrum around the biceps complex in the shoulder joint. Labrum is normally a fibrocartilaginous structure around the glenoid which will help in to deepen the socket and to provide the stability to the shoulder joint. And it also acts as an anchor support to provide attachment to the ligaments of the shoulder joint to keep the shoulder joint stable. So slap tear is a particular in type of a labrum tear which is usually seen around the biceps complex. The biceps muscle normally goes into the shoulder joint and gets attached to the top part of the socket bone called glenoid. So any tear around that biceps complex is called as a slap tear. In full form it is called as a superior labrum anterior and posterior lesions. So how does this slap tear happen? Slap tear happens usually in any real injury related to the sports like in overhead uh, sports activities like in badminton volleyball or even swimming also and it can also happen in injuries like road traffic accidents these are the acute symptoms but slap tear can also happen due to wear and tear that is whenever you use your shoulder more or overuse of the shoulder like in uh, overhead athletes or in any kind of activity that related to the lifting weights overhead etc but it can also happen in age related wear and tear as well so what are all the symptoms of slap tear patient usually feels pain in a particular type of movement when they lift their shoulder overhead and they can also complain of catching pain sometimes some slap tear can also give rise to the locking or popping symptom in the shoulder joint which is usually due to that free fragment of that slap tear. Sometimes patient can also have swelling and stiffness in the shoulder joint. So how do we diagnose this slap tear? Usually the clinical examination of the shoulder joint is enough to diagnose the slap tear. But they also have to undergo an MRI scan to assess the severity of the damage and to get an objective evidence about the slap tear. So once the slap tear is diagnosed, we will get to know how, what type of injury is it, whether it's a mild, moderate or severe type of slap tear. So what are all the same treatment options available for it? Most of the slap tear are usually treated with the physiotherapy and anti-inflammatory medications. So in acute phase, we put them on rest and anti-inflammatory medications and ice pack to bring down the swelling and to improve the range of motion. Once the range of motion is regained, then they are subjected to the strengthening program. Most of the slap tear will be treated by these physiotherapy techniques and after that they can get back to their sports activities. But sometimes the damage may be a little bit more, in that case we may have to go for a surgery. The surgery available for this slap tear is called orthroscopy. It's again a minimally invasive keyhole technique. We we'll make a small hole into the shoulder joint, pass the camera, looking in the camera, we will repair the tear where the biceps muscle gets attached to the biceps. So we may have to put a small clips, what we call an anchor, which will be around 2.5 to 3 mm in size. And these anchors are made up of calcium material, which will get dissolved by itself. So using such anchors, we tighten the biceps complex into the glenoid that is a socket bone so once we tighten this it will heal to the socket bone and it will get back their normal seat. So, it is the usual solution for the shoulder orthoscopy procedure patient will be in chair for 45 degrees and that uh, operating limb should be in the traction that's the traction set so you're going to make a small keyboard and pass the camera and then the user will start coming on the tv and uh, that's how we do the procedure okay? This is the completion of the repair. You can see one uh, notch here. There's one other anchor there. Now our instruments will not go double between this labrum and the biceps tendon. So this will help in healing, and you can get back to his sports activities. That's the anchor.
so it's a very minimally uh, invasive technique and once the surgery is done very next day patient will be put them on a pouch arm sling that is a shoulder support and ice pack so it will take two to three weeks for the swelling and all to subside once two to three weeks swelling is come down then we will put them on a range of motion exercises by six to eight weeks most of the patients will regain back their movements and after that we will start strengthening program so by three to four months period post surgery most of the patients would have regained back their strength and then slowly we'll start them on reflexes and proprioceptive exercises to avoid further injury in future and by six months time, the patients will be fit enough to get back to sports at their pre-injury level back again. Hi, my name is Avinash. Uh, I don't know personally Raghun Nagaraj. I know him through my, one of my friends got a surgery done by him. And the review I what I got from him was really great and recovery also was very good. And immediately he gave the number and he called Raghun Nagaraj and he was like very supportive and very friendly in nature. And he told me to come there. He helped you he help me out in everything, in explaining what is the surgery is going to happen, what is the problem I have, and if I don't do it, what are the complications going to come up later. So he explained in such a way that okay, fine, nine minutes choice. Okay, fine. If I don't do it now, and it's going to trouble me later. So let me do it now and get it clear. And overall process, uh, what I've been through was it's, it's really smooth and like when I when you see the Raghunagaraj or the photos, everything was done in a very smooth way. And when I say the surgery done, and Raghu gave a number, Raghu gave a number of his assistant, and I, he, they approached me, and all the document he took it up, and all the process was so clean and done in no time. And overall experience, I could say, it was, it was really like I, I didn't feel like I had a surgery and come up. Like before, I had a, I had a pain, and surgery I was done yesterday, and a little pain was there, and now I don't feel a pain at all, except that the moment is the section is there, then it's all good. So that's it. Cheers. Thank you.